son-in-law's dad, my uh, lady. Where we gotta go, Fred? You, gonna, you wanna be in on the camera? Oh, no, yes, she does. Oh, okay. So wherever I am. Yep. Okay. Where do we go? Uh, right you guys will be back there. And I'm just gonna sit down here. Okay. That'd be great. Yeah. Because I may awesome. pop in here, so <laughs> What are the questions? What, what's what, this uh, for? It's just, um, uh, we're just, uh, our office has been doing some uh, live um, interviews.
Okay. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about home inspections. And I'm Fred Askren with Coldwell Banker, the real estate shop. And I have with me here today as Brandon Barr, and he's with Southwest Property Inspections. So I'll start out with some questions and, um, for Brandon. And so what interested you in getting into this business in the first place? Uh, when, when I was in college going to school at K-State, uh, I had an opportunity to build houses and help my friend out that was in the construction business. So kind of got a little taste there. Then I taught high school ag and FFA for 11 years and we built and constructed a lot of items throughout the shop. And I initially got into home inspections because I enjoyed helping people, educating them about certain things to look for, you know, in the home buying process. I ultimately want to make sure that they're comfortable in the, in the large purchases that they're getting ready to, getting ready to buy. Okay. Um, is this a business that you can just step right into? You, you, you need to have a little background as far as uh, uh, getting into the business. I, you know, building houses, growing up on a farm, doing all this uh, stuff that I, that I do in the home inspection business, um, you know, just for me comes naturally then explaining what I found, why this happens, or what, what's happened to the house to cause this. Uh, to be able to educate those people and show them, you know, why certain things happen to the house or why water has intruded the house or why the roof is, you know, just kind of show them the hows and whys. That way, you know, it helps them in deciding whether or not they want to go through with the purchase. Yeah. So, um, so a lot of it you learned, um, you know, as you went along and, and a lot of us have done that. Like uh, I lived in an old house for, 26 years and um, was always doing something to it. So, mm -hmm. you know, you just kind of learn as you go along. Um, and we had but, some continuing education courses that I started out. I think it was, uh, I can't remember how many hours it was to initially get certified through ASHI and everything. So, so yeah, so you have had training yeah. and uh, where I'm kind of a novice uh, person, um, it, you know, as far as, um, you know, inspections, I'm not a certified inspector, but you have become that. Uh, in your training. Yep. Okay. Very good. So, why would a buyer uh, want to hire you then to um, to have an inspection done? We we've been my wife and I we've been doing this uh, home inspection business for the last three years, and uh, you know we've been in and out of approximately a thousand houses in the in the course of three years, and just what you know, what you the training that we've had, the things to look for uh just helps the buyer you know before they purchase the house know what kind of money they might be spending on some of these repairs knowing whether the roof is is in good shape the heating and air is in good shape um, because a lot of times you get a lot of you can get a lot of money tied up into a house if if uh, you aren't familiar what you're looking for Okay. You talked about yeah, saving money or knowing about how much. Now, you don't um, uh, give prices or uh, estimates on, on the repairs. So what would a buyer do then uh, with that? Would they just um, uh, you know, contact somebody else? or um, We typically recommend getting in contact with, depending on what they're having to fix or replace, whether it's heating air or any construction costs. Uh, getting with a contractor to see what those costs be. And we usually recommend get, getting with a, a couple different contractors because one could be high, one could be, you know, in that price range. But, you know, and then also asking for references on those contractors just to make sure that they are, are repu reputable and would do a good job. Okay. I usually don't recommend a certain contractor. So, you know, in case they didn't do a real good job, that wouldn't, I mean, you don't want to be yeah. responsible for that. I understand. Um, so um, you mentioned uh, the like the heating and air conditioning, the roofing, and all. But what is the uh, uh, would be the most important uh, aspect of your inspection uh, that you're providing for the customer? I, I feel like the whole inspection process, from inspecting the house to the reporting that we do on every everything we find. Um, for me, if it was me buying a house, I look at the big things that are some of your big ticket or your high dollar items. It seemed like the, the, the roofs are a high ticket, high dollar item. Heating and air, I want to know 
uh, how old it is. Typically, they they give you a rough estimate. You know, this this unit will last 15 to 20 years. And, you know, I would like to know where that unit is within that within that cycle. Um, also, plumbing is very important. There are certain areas in Southwest Kansas that we inspect that uh, uh, some of the plumbing is older and and uh, we recommend, you know, whether that's around a sewer scope from the house to valley to ensure there aren't any line collapses. We try to we try to help out the the consumer in the buying process. You know, like like if it was me going through, if I was buying a house for my daughter, I want to make sure that's a good solid foundation or investment for the place. So, so how do you find these? Um, like you talk about plumbing and all when it's behind the walls and all the way. Uh, how do you know that that is good behind there? So, in probably uh, probably eighty percent of the houses we go into, they've got a mechanical room where you can see the actual pipe going out of out of the house, and just from inspecting the last three years, um, a lot of it is, you know, the age of the house. You know, sometimes it might have cast iron in it uh, going from the house to the to the sewer line. Uh, those are just some things you know, use some observation to be able to see. Sometimes if you go in basements of some of these areas and you see uh, water stains on the ceilings, you you know it's been leaking or has leaked in the past so that you're able to strike up a conversation with the seller. Hey, why is this like that? Oh, well, we repaired that three or four years ago and just never repaired the ceiling part. So... Yeah, every now and then you see a ceiling that it's been cut into yeah. and not repaired back. Yeah. So you kind of know that there's been a problem there. Um, so what should a realtor or a potential home buyer um, do before the inspection? Any any advice there or comments? Um, what I like to see, you know, when when the realtor, the home buyer ha have been through the house and they jot down some questions they might have. Hey, is this crack supposed to be here there's a little cracking in the brick out here is that normal i invite those questions because it strikes up conversations and we can we can walk through it together it's a you know it's an expensive process to purchase a house and like i said we want to make sure that the buyer feels comfortable in that and any questions that they have we welcome it just you know helps them feel more comfortable and builds and it builds trust, you know, between the buyer, the the seller, the the agent, the the uh, inspector. So we we want to make sure all parties are on the same page whenever we do an inspection. So, um, do you want the questions as you go along, or would you like them at the end, or um, preference? We do both. I typically like them at the end. That way, I can focus and concentrate on on the on the task at hand sometimes if you get questions while you're inspecting uh i i, I didn't feel like uh to me that yeah, i, I want to be laser focused when i'm doing that inspection so i can catch any defects or or any do any observations to make sure that we catch everything that could be possible wrong with the house great so it'd be better to have the questions yes. ahead of time or maybe jot them down as yeah. uh, you go through the Perfect. inspection Perfect. and ask yeah. them. Yeah. Like at the sure. very beginning, you know, hey, yeah. we saw this, this, and this. Could you take a look at that? And at the end, yes, I, I saw this. This is pretty typical in houses of this age. Um, sure. yeah. So do you also do commercial buildings? We do commercial buildings. Um, done them throughout Southwest Kansas here. We look uh, commercial buildings, same deal. We look for a roof. We've been into some commercial buildings that have the flat roof or they've had the uh, uh, roof that they've added tin to it. Yeah. They, so, they, I mean, there's a variety. You can, on commercial buildings, it seems like they are more expensive to operate and maintain. So to replace a roof might be a lot more expensive than replacing a house roof or uh, a heating and air unit might be a lot more expensive to replace than a, uh, than a regular house unit too. So there are more costs associated with commercial buildings, it seems like, in purchasing and maintaining. So we'll make sure we're able to point out everything to the potential buyer before they purchase a, purchase a building. Okay. Because we, we've been there. We, 
we looked at purchasing a commercial building and we were, I was thankful and blessed that I had some of this knowledge and, and expertise, you know, be able to look at that and knowing, hey, it's going to cost this much or this, uh, to repair the roof. It's going to cost this much for heating and air. So, okay. Could you explain a little more about the uh, add ons to the uh, basic mechanical and structural inspections? Okay. So, we also uh, perform uh, sprinkler systems. Uh, that's uh, additional fee. We also do well and septic as well if you, if you have a country house. Um, sometimes you can get some money wrapped up into those items. Uh, we, we also uh, have a guy that we work with um, that does radon. And uh, radon is more prevalent in southwest Kansas than, than what people think. It's, uh, it's pretty inexpensive to uh, find radon. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, it's just a, a good test to perform. Uh, just to make sure your house is free from We did it in our own personal house. I don't recommend doing things that we wouldn't do in our own house. So, sure. Okay. What about uh, mold testing as well as another one? Every now and then we will find mold, you know, in under kitchen sinks or the other day we performed an inspection. We found mold in the mechanical room. So we typically recommend and the same guy that does uh, radon, uh, he also, we also have him do mold testing for us too. So we try to work with other inspectors as well if we don't cover that area. Okay. So, so, but if you see something that you think is a problem, well, then you can recommend that to yes. doing another test. So, okay. I know, it, I know sometimes it'll add up and it, it costs money, but it's worth it in the long run, especially you know, if you've got kids that are going to be in those places or, or just, you know, people buying the house, just sure. want to make sure it's, it, it's good for whenever they move in. Okay. So what about the process after you, uh, after the home uh, or after the home inspection can be performed? Um, uh, what, uh, what does the buyer expect then? So my wife and I, we, uh, we take, a lot of pictures whenever we do the home inspection to for documentation purposes to make sure we document what's wrong with the house uh, if they've got a contractor if the if the sellers have a contractor coming in and fixing these areas I've, I've received calls from contractors hey what do you mean by this hey look under here this is what we found when we were there um, we also we write up a written report with all the defects in there that we found, and we give that to the realtor and the buyer. And after that, if they've got questions on, because not all buyers uh, attend the inspections, sure. and so we want to make sure we're as transparent as possible. And initially, the uh, the buyer hires us to to find the defects, so we. We do our best and and do what's expected of us and, and make sure that we're able to meet the expectations of the of the buyer and make sure that they don't get into a so uh, I mean a so called money pit or you know but most of the realtors I work with in the Garden City area especially Coldwell Banker here are really good to work with and they've got really good houses and they do a good job so. What's your uh, biggest obstacle in the home inspections or just property inspections? I would say uh, the biggest obstacles are making sure uh, that we do the inspection and catch everything. Um, another obstacle is, you know, if we find a large item, sometimes we have to refer it out, whether it's uh, a foundation issue or or more supports in the floor floor space uh, um, we just make sure that uh, yeah we, we've had a few calls as well that uh, heating and air you know didn't work and sometimes you know when we go in there and inspect it it worked at the time of the inspection so it's just we gotta make sure uh, some another obstacle is furniture so furniture or people that are getting ready to move out sometimes that obstructs the view of what we can go in and see mm -hmm. in, in the space um 
Other than that, those are probably the, the bigger obstacles. We want to make sure we're able to see every square inch of that house when we're doing the inspection. Very good. And sometimes, and sometimes when you get into the basements of these houses, sometimes there's sheetrock that cover up plumbing. Uh, you're not able to see that. Uh, and sometimes you'll see water stain marks on, on ceilings, and that's it's hard to determine without doing the destruction test why that was leaking. So, okay. Any other comments that you'd have then this morning? Or um, If I was buying a house, I would definitely use you or any of the Caldwell Banker people down here. So they're great to work with, and, and uh, there's always service after the sale as well. So. Yes, and that's nice to know that yeah that uh, a home buyer can call you up and ask you a question afterwards that uh, to help you explain if nothing else just yeah. to um, give you give them some directions. So, well, Brandon, I appreciate you coming in today, and uh, um, I um, hope that uh, the people have gotten some value out of uh, listening to you and and uh, the value of a home inspection. And uh, once again, my. Um, um, this is Brandon uh, Barr with Southwest Property Inspections, and I'm Fred Aspirin with Coldwell Banker. So um, we hope that we can be of service to you and, and enjoy the day. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah.